You have the map, right? Maybe you should stand on the side and drive crazy right? watching you walk with your shoe untied. I don't want to be ashamed of it. trip and right here we're in the Australia section here's the sheep bridge area where you can stop by and get some hats and get some refreshing local tasting beer and there's also some restrooms and water fountain if you need any to stop and get some refreshing taste and do your business and then there's a really nice great walkway that you can walk on if you look over here we're Heading up to Condor Ridge and there's really cool landscape. There's, um, if you look here on the map, we're over here going up the Condor Trail. So there's the kangaroos, everything. And it's a really fun, there's this beautiful walk. Um, that's only one part of this beautiful thing. There is so much to do. Today we both of us, Shelby and Abhishek, we went on a balloon ride and we did, we're going to do the zip line tomorrow. So it's really fun. So don't forget to come here to the zoo and I honestly get the three day pass because you can't do everything in one day. It's really worth it. Um, we're coming in two days. So it ended up being like, it's such a, large and it's a non-profit so everything that you order here goes to help the conserve the animals like um one thing we learned really cool they had only 22 i think of one of the animals and now they have over 500 so some of their breeding program and they're bringing back like white rhinos so come here buy stuff spending on that's helping animals did it stop no The kangaroo has a baby joey and it's their food at the San Diego Zoo. This is a really rare instance that you get to see this. 
really neat. Take it? Here, stand and take your hand. Okay. Nanny, do you want to go? Okay. Yeah. So just a few rules for you guys head in. Just make sure you guys stay on the path. Please do not go on the grass. Animals have the right of way and no open food drinks. Got it? <laughs> Oh my god, how scary is that? Wolford, Mike Walter, and Al Folster. Is it still recording? Is it still recording? Yeah, he is.
walk about Australia and <laughs> play. You want to turn it off now? There is the flamingos. We're walking over here to see them. And these are actually the Chilean flamingo. So they're from the coastal lagoon of South America. And they are just beautiful. And over here you can see there is a really cool walkway that you can walk up. And also you can see some really cool birds here. Some ducks. And they're walking over here. And they're just beautiful. And then there's a really cool walkway here. And then also while you're here, there's some really cool stuff to do. So there is this thing here where they have programs. I'm not sure when things close. But over here they have a really cool thing called the plant trader where you can get fun little things like plants for butterflies. They have the Safari Coffee Outpost. Drop by and get coffee. They have amazing coffee. I... They have trader friendly coffee. Fair trade. Also over here is a really cool thing that you need to ride. Merry go round. And then if you come over this way, it's shade if you need it. If it's super hot out, you sit under while you drink your coffee. And then you come over this way. And if you've lost your map, there's maps and information right here. And then while you're here, don't forget to take a picture with the elephant. And to let your kids play on the rhino to get a picture there in their shade. And then also for shopping for to get gifts and stuff, souvenirs, there is the village market. They have really cool stuff like hats that say really fun stuff. They have this. These are fun for kids. They have stuff like little rings and stuff and other cool knickknacks like toys for kids and they great souvenirs. They also have She does dancing so the kids can have fun or adults. I got my face painted so adults can too. And then here we have face painting, tons of fun. There's, you can see there's tons of stuff through here. Also, map of where to go, bazaar, global, and crafts. There's so much. There is a Nairobi station. Over there is where you get up on that walk over here to go see the the bird, the pretty pink flamingo. <laughs> Lost my mind there for a minute. Here's the bazaar of global crafts. Let's go in here and see what they have. Looks like fun. So look. Oh my gosh! Look, we have. A rhino or what we call it a chubby unicorn, right? Because we all love unicorns. We have cat, llama. These are so cute. Whoa, look at the pattern on here. These would make such great souvenirs. And look, they have the butterflies. Planting for butterflies. That's amazing. I hear the gardener family. Also, we have a cup for the coffee lovers. Cup. Really beautiful. We got books for people with kids. We got mugs. 
Not everything in here is really cool shop. And then for the people who are boho, we got these really cool elephants for the really cool world decoration. And these really cool things here. We also got stuff for our fashionistas like these. Sun hats. We got everything here. Wheels around, blue. Perfect. Oh my gosh, these are the cutest too. They even have this super cute the village market. Little back in the purse with a water bottle, place to put everything in. Look, they even have a safari hat. This is my husband. He looks amazing. We should totally buy that. So everything's super cute from here. So yeah, come on down to the San Diego Zoo. Super cute. Also, we're gonna go to La Coronado Beach tonight and then tomorrow we're going to La Jolla and we did the zip line this morning and it was amazing. So at the San Diego Safari Zoo, you really gotta do that. It's perfect. Okay, see you later. Bye. Here is a really cool, that thing I showed you, the wood that like the tree fort. Here it is. See? Here's my husband. He got the safari hat. Here's the trail. Then you can see the other side. Where the ping where the flamingos are, not penguins. Here's the cool tree. Kids would love this. And adults. the other side here and that's the end of it and it's really fun
beautiful view. It's nursing, it's with its mother. It's really cool. Can I zoom? You don't know how? You can't like use your fingers? You can do it the living year once you do it. This is the San Diego Zoo and this is the aviary. Here are some really cool birds last year. In the aviary. 
here's what it looks like. Careful when you're coming in the door so you don't let any of these birds out. There's a cute little stuff that you can try. Some beautiful waterfalls. Honestly, I just love this one in here. I'm going to the waterfall. Here is a bird. I'll let him go. Here's all of the different types of birds there are. African, open bell, African stork, and then here. And then here, you can see pictures. And here they have a beautiful pond where you can enjoy their time. Also in the aviary, as we can see, we were looking at the water. There's also, I forgot to mention, really cool under. But there is also this super cool nest right here. And it looks like there are some baby birds. There's this cool bird here. There's a cool bird. Oh, this is so cool. Such a cool sighting. I don't want to scare the bird. Sorry. Oh. And then look over here. Some really cool. It's beautiful. And birds up in the trees. Make sure you look up. Don't forget to look up. Because over here, on top of the rock, you'll see some birds. Don't forget to look down 
There's a beautiful waterfall over here. They've done such a nice job with the aviary. It's so beautiful at this park. And oh my gosh, over here you get a sneak peek into these beautiful flamingos. And this salt water is so salty that it'll burn it if you touch it. I learned that today. But these, they can live in there. It's so amazing. They're so pretty. They're not, a, they're African flamingos, so they're not as pink as the other flamingos that we're familiar with. But this is the beautiful aviary that's nearby. So come and enjoy the San Diego Zoo Safari. Yeah. You can go see the water lights starting. This is the African loop. So here is a really super cute creek that we're going on. That you can see here. really pretty and then there's some beautiful birds over here and on the African loop um, there's some really cool thing there is the African birds there is a zebra looking thing that looks half giraffe there's some other really cool animals there's the birds with nests lots of birds different other species some little antelope it's a really cool loop and you can see the trail is really nice and a lot of beautiful trees it's just a really pretty thing to do here so definitely when you come do this trail it's really pretty after you do the gorilla one just come and just walk into the African loop with a really good transition. So you just walk this way. Oh, and then you walk over the creek. This is beautiful. They did a really good job making it look. And they reuse their water too, which is just really good. So it's zero waste. So when you come here, you're helping conserve I feel really good coming here from helping save the world, but I'm also having fun. I just love this place. They're saving animals, saving water, like, can't go wrong. Here is some more birds, beautiful trees. Definitely, I suggest coming a little bit later in spring or early fall when the weather's a little bit nicer. I thought San Diego would be warm in March or April, sorry, and a lot of other people, but it's not. It's actually cloudy. So probably come, I would guess, May. Uh, I'm guessing it's super warm in the middle of summer in August, so maybe come like fall, late, late spring, like June maybe. So here we go. Here is number 12. So we're gonna go on that loop. And there's also always helpers on the trail. If you ever need help, you can always ask them or use your handy dandy map. You wanna talk? This is the San Diego Village, and here is a really cool little area over here. You can go down and see the Laura Kate landing. 
and walk that way and over here and then here is some really fun little area you can see how the get some coloring stuff for the kids and there's volunteers here who can tell you where to go from here kind of a base station and then here is the hidden jungle where you can see volunteer for health where you can see cool stuff there's restrooms and then there is Kibo ice cream cones and snacks there is for adults there is craft in here there is craft beer casing spring safari in here and plenty of yum yums if you need snacks for the kids or anything there's also another dining area over here too that has an oasis deli that has espresso drinks, mini donuts, hot chocolate and fudge, over here it's super cute little coffee shop. And then they have face painting over here. And then over here they have safari tickets where you can buy safari tickets. This is also where you come for zip lane. We're going to be doing that today. We're going to see if we can take it with us. If not, we'll definitely tell you how it is. It goes over Africa and also the Asian part. We'll tell you what we see. Um, we're super excited. Yeah, so it's a place where you can refresh and buy everything. She just grouped them together. She just grouped them together. What is it? Yeah, good. Okay. Hi. Yeah, me 